Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video we will be installing the wiring and the first electronics onto the boat. I will also hopefully be wiring up the automatic bilge pump I have purchased. As you can see we have the battery in the battery box, a switch panel and the wiring and terminal connectors all needed for this job. The first job will be to find and locate where we want the switch panel to be and then cut the hole for that switch panel to be put into place. So we have decided to put the switch panel underneath the steering wheel and I just need to cut the hole. After a little struggle I did manage to get the hole under the steering wheel cut for the switch panel. As you'll be able to see from the other side we've put the switch here because of the recess where all the wires can sit after it's all boarded up. Also the battery will be located under the seat in the storage area. So the switch panel fitted in perfectly. I haven't got it all screwed up yet but we'll get that done once it's all wired up and working. On the bottom left hand side of the switch panel you've got a 12 volt cigarette lighter port. In the middle of that you've got your voltage reader and on the right hand side you've got your two USB ports. At the top of the switch panel you've got five switches that you can add your electrical items to, bilge pump lights etc. And here are how it looks at the back of all the wires. So let's get it all wired up and hopefully see if it works. I've now got the switch panel all screwed in place and it is all wired up. As you can see here I've got two terminal blocks coming directly from the battery, a positive and negative terminal block. The battery is located in the storage area as I mentioned previously. From the terminal blocks I've got a positive and negative wire going directly to the switch panel to give that power and I will be wiring the bilge pump to the switch panel as well as the positive wire block for the automatic function on the bilge pump. Here you can see the switch panel is all working now. You've got your voltage reading up and all the switches will also be working once they're on, the light comes on and as you can see it's all working perfectly. So now let's try and get the bilge pump all set up and wired up. I've now got the bilge pump all wired up. If I turn it upside down it will simulate the automatic mode for you and you can see that's working perfectly. We haven't actually put the bilge pump exactly where we want it at the moment as we're still figuring out the exact position for it once we get the hose pipe fit and get that fitted. As you can see the wiring's going underneath the storage area so it's out of the way and it will all be neatened up afterwards. And if I turn on the switch on the switch panel you can see the manual mode working on the actual build pump as well. The wiring goes directly underneath all the way to the terminal blocks. You've got the automatic build pump wire going to the positive terminal block, the manual one going to the switch and negative going to the negative terminal block. We've also given the cabin a good clean, all the cushions, covers and everything has been cleaned so it's all looking good. That's the work for this video done. We are now not far away from getting the boat into the water. On our next visit we will be fitting the bilge pump hose kit and then it is ready for the water hopefully. If you found this video interesting and want to follow the journey please like and subscribe and also leave any comments of anything you would like to see on the boat. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.